Some of the biggest names in comedy are putting on a show to mark the 20th anniversary of the September 11th terrorist attacks. Comedians Dave Chappelle, John Stewart, and Amy Schumer, among others, will perform Saturday, September 12th at Madison Square Garden. Proof of vaccination is required for that in-person event. All the proceeds will benefit 9-11 charities. You know, it's, it's hard to believe that 20 years have passed. You know, my brother Harvey was just 35 years old when he was killed on 9-11. Um, 20 years passage of time, he's still very much an inspiration for us. He's part of our lives. What's now the National September 11th Memorial and Museum is the final resting place for Anthony Gardner's brother, Harvey, and 40% of victims in the World Trade Center attack. Ticket sales to visit the site plummeted by nearly $45 million during the pandemic. We will never break. We will never break. Build on a foundation strong enough to stay. In conjunction with the 20th anniversary of the attacks, there are new fundraising efforts and a national campaign encouraging reflection and action. This PSA features a young girl whose grandfather died in the attacks, drawing attention to generations who have no memory of that day. The museum's president says equally as important as teaching history is remembering how America reacted. The response was profound compassion born of shared grief. It was empathy. It was a sense that we were in this together. It was the coming together. People who hugged strangers on the street just because they knew everyone was feeling the same pain and shock and grief. It was a moment where hope was palpable in the face of adversity, where we understood that we would be resilient, we would rebuild, and we would remember. Now the goal is to bring back more visitors to the National September 11th Memorial and Museum. There's also a 20th anniversary commemorative ticket for sale to benefit the Never Forget Fund so more people can learn about those who were lost. People like my brother who all they can do was try to comfort their coworkers. They, they knew they weren't going to be able to get out of their offices. And so in that final time, they showed each other compassion. You can learn more about the 20th anniversary efforts at 911memorial.org.